no new cases. Brisbane restrictions being lifted as well. Let's have a listen in. ...on the 30th of September, as previously advised. I've also now provided to you a letter from the, Prime Minister, from the Premier, subsequently sent to the Prime Minister, making it very, very clear that we would support the Army's ongoing support on our borders. This is yet another example of a federal government minister being sent out by the Prime Minister to attack our government in the, the local media here in Queensland, being caught out lying. And I think it's time, again, for Josh Frydenberg to apologise for the statements that he made this morning. It is time for the federal government to stop using the Australian Defence Force, which, after all, is for all Australians, to stop using them as a bargaining chip in their war against our COVID-19 restrictions. I understand there's been some discussion in the central Queensland community about the possibility that they will host hotel quarantine uh, travellers returning from overseas. I can confirm that there was consideration of the use of underutilised FIFO work camps in that region. That consideration has now be, been concluded and we won't be progressing with that option. I'd also like to, uh, if you'll indulge me just for a moment, acknowledge that uh, Queensland and particularly Queensland Labor lost a giant overnight. Um, Peter Simpson was a legend and a friend and we are all grieving and our thoughts are with Penny and his family and the wider ETU family. Thank you. So no new cases in Queensland overnight, which is excellent. So it's now been 14 days since we'd, we've had someone who was infectious out in our community. That means all of those restrictions that were put in place for Brisbane and Ipswich can now be removed. That will happen 1am tomorrow. So people can return to aged care, to disability accommodation services, to hospitals to re visit their relatives and friends, and also those increased requirements for PPE in our hospital and aged care services are no longer needed. They kept us safe during that period. Plus, people can increase the gathering size back to 30, as exists for the rest of the state. This has been a really good outcome. So we've now had 55 cases related to those clusters and it has been an amazing response from Queenslanders. So our COVID safe plans, I think were really tested and they came forward and they showed that they work. And that is really reassuring.